Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a look at the big unexpected changes coming your way. And we're going to get straight into it. If you are new here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a beat. Also, make sure you guys hit the notification bell and the like button so you can get notified whenever I do post. OK, the algorithm is weird. <laughs> um, also, if you want a general a general, if you do want a personal reading, Please check out my description box. I do offer uh, personal sessions, phone sessions, all that stuff. And if you want to check out my other channel, I will have it listed below. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Scorpios, what big unexpected changes are coming their way? Okay. First card out. We have the ooh, Ace of Cups. This is very positive. Okay, so with the Ace of Cups here, you guys are going to have like a newfound love for something. This is going to come out of the blue. This may be like a, an interest that grows from another interest, if that makes any sense. So the best way I can kind of put it into words, it's kind of like when you have an interest in painting, right? And then it just morphs into you having an interest in painting portraits or you may have an interest in like, like I said, painting and then it manifests in, okay, well, I want to create custom jewelry where I paint them or you get what I'm trying to say, like it morphs into something else. So it's like an interest that you have in something, you're going to find yourself like really being interested in the extension of it. That's the best way I could kind of put it into words. Excuse me. Another thing that's kind of coming through with this card, a lot of you, you're really going to be at a place to where you're not, hmm, you're not doubting yourself anymore. Like a lot of you really were doubting your powers and your ability to do certain things and your ability to be put in certain conversations or certain rooms. And this is understanding that you can't really count yourself out like other people want to count you out. So with the Ace of Cups, this is like having a sense of self-love that's like overflowing and an understanding of what you're good at and how much uh, effort and love that you can pour into something when you really genuinely care about it. And through you having this, like I said, understanding and this ability to kind of remove yourself from thinking negatively, you are really going to start pouring yourself into your craft. So... For a lot of you, a message is just a piece of advice. Stay away from allowing your anxiety to make you believe that you're less than great. Okay? Because it's not true. We also have the, ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. I like the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups right next to each other. So this is really good energy so far. Okay, Scorpios. Um, okay, so Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. For a lot of you... If you're in a relationship right now, really good time. Um, I'm seeing like a strong foundation here. I see that there's genuine love here. You and this individual love is overflowing. Okay. Um, for a lot of you, you may have had rough patches with this individual. It may have not been 100% peachy keen. That's not how relationships work. It's not 100% perfect. But you guys are definitely getting to a different point in your relationship where it may not be as... Um, what's the word drama filled or so many issues per se. Um, some of you are also going to start to realize that somebody who you either are married to or somebody who you just may have been in a long-term commitment with this person genuinely cares about you um, a lot and they may do it through their actions um, how they may be there for you to support you through everything you may start to really pick that up OK. Wow. Um, another thing that I'm seeing here as well. When it comes to family, hmm, some of you are still going to kind of question whether or not your family has your best interest. This may be due to like certain things that they may involve you in or you just may be feeling like certain things that go on in your family um, are just really out of balance. And this may be kind of make you question certain things. We have the emperor. Um, OK, so another thing that's coming through, a lot of you are really going to be taking control over 
your life and your creative endeavors and exactly how you make money from those creative endeavors. So some of you, you're trying to go for more of an entrepreneurship um, path, not really trying to work for somebody. For others of you, you kind of do want to work for somebody. It's just more of a situation where you want to be more in a position of power, not really, you know, working for pennies, of course, and all that other stuff. So a lot of you are really going to take control over your situation. Instead of being in this, woe is me, life hates me, I can't get this, I can't get that. It's more of leveraging your opportunities and figuring out exactly how you can place yourself in certain positions. Um, So it's like, again, taking matters into your own hands instead of just taking this perspective of, okay, I'm just a victim to my circumstances, if that makes sense. Hmm. Some of you may have an interesting conversation with a parent of yours. This may be your father or a father figure um, that's really going to impact you and your thinking. Um, we also have the Knight of Swords and the Devil. Okay, so let's talk about this. So with the Knight of Swords, um, some of you be careful of acting too quickly to make certain decisions because you may be making certain decisions without thinking about what it's going to grant you in the long term. So I always do this. This is something I'm going to suggest to you guys uh, in life before you do anything, whether it's a positive thing or a negative thing. Look at the repercussions, okay? Look at cause and effect. If I do this, what's going to be the effect of this? If I do this, what's going to be the effect of this? If I go back to my ex who cheated on me, am I going to get cheated on again? Probably. If I, you know, quit my job right now without having a backup plan. Am I going to be able to pay next month's rent? Probably not. Like really look at the cause and effect of what you do before you do it. Okay. And that will save you a lot of problems. And I know that's easier said than done, or that's an easy way of thinking, but a lot of people don't do that. They don't use cause and effect in their lives. So to avoid running into certain situations, definitely use that. Some of you also, hmm, some of you are going to, okay, I'm talking to you specifically if you have like a drug problem, okay? If you smoke way too much, if you drink a lot, um, it may even be just you being like having an addiction to something that's not good for you, like eating bad or whatever. It doesn't even have to be a drug addiction. Some of you are going to realize whatever you have this like problem with breaking this habit, Okay, even for some of you, it could even be a a, a sex addiction. Okay, let's just be honest. You're going to realize how that's affecting your life. Okay, it's going to really make you angry. And then for some of you, you're going to break through. Okay, some of you, it may take a little bit longer. But whatever addiction is keeping you from having a normal functioning life, you guys are going to nip in the bud. Now, I'm only talking to people who have addictions. If you have an addiction, I'm not really talking to you. Um. But you're going to realize how it's impacting you. But I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you were able to take something from this reading. Please make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Um, Also, make sure you check out my other channel if you want to see my other videos. And if you want a personal, that will be all my information will be listed in the description box. Okay, thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.